Right, so we're on our way um, to the uh, White Towns driving tour, which is going to take us into a break uh, on the way to Granada and into the mountains of the Sierra Nevada. It's pretty cool. These mountains just popped out of nowhere. Boom, and then they were there. We drove to Zahara de la Sierra, stopping every now and then to look at huge fields of sunflowers. We kept on driving, winding our way up rocky dry hillsides, then found a park just under the town. We walked through Zahara de la Sierra and up to the castle. It was a very nice walk in the evening. It took about 10 minutes to wind our way up through the village and the castle was so dark inside. We arrived in Zahara and while going for a walk through the town we noticed that the streets were lined with greenery and covered in hay. Then we found out that it was for the annual Corpus Christi celebrations. The Corpus Christi festival was originally invented by a Christian king during their reign over Europe to encourage people to become Christian. He told the people of Granada to party until you're crazy and the idea spread all over Spain and is still celebrated by some towns today. I was walking to a rock to pick a flower when out of the corner of my eye I saw two massive snakes fall off the rock next to me. Corpus Christi is a religious festival which includes bands playing and people dancing. At 3am we were woken up because the DJ was playing I like to move it, move it and people were still partying. After school we walked up to the square to see what time the band was playing. Then we went down to the lake for a swim. On our way back up to the big show tonight on the uh, Corpus Christi Rock Tour. We walked up the hill to where the band was playing and looked at the view off the balcony across the valley. We noticed the people in the town had attached green branches to the walls of their houses so it looked like trees were growing up the sides. The ground was also covered in a thick layer of hay that went all around the town. We ended up getting some great seats where we could see the band playing and everybody doing their funny dances. <laughs> Lots of them don't have as good as this. Okay, what's happening here, Daniel? So this is how we've been filling our water tanks when we can't get the hose yep. to a tap. What's it called? Siphoning. Okay, science class today. Here we go. Beetle cam. What's going on here? Beetle. On the beetle cam. Beetles. I think someone needs a someone needs a ride home. wound our way through the old town of Ronda. I thought the houses were quite neat because of all of their different colours. There are lots of tourists there because Ronda is famous for its big bridge that was built into the rock face. We managed to buy a cheap packet of ice creams for one euro ten cents. Now that's pretty cheap. We walked for a little bit longer through the narrow streets before going back and driving to our destination for the night. After a long day of driving, we stopped at an amazing troglodyte town and went for a walk. There were some awesome shops and houses built into the rock faces that actually jutted out of the cliffs. It was a nice little town and a river ran through the middle. We hopped back in our motorhome and drove off to a spot nearby. We're just approaching the small town of Olvera, not the one 
to the right there, but just up on the uh, skyline up to the left. You can see it pointing up. Alvera is an old town with a castle and a very big church. It is one of the popular white villages in the hills of Andalusia. The buildings in these villages are all painted white, which really makes them stand out against the brown landscape. There has been human settlement in Alvera for over 2,000 years. It was founded in the first century AD. It may have been named after the olive oil that is still produced there today. It was a particularly hot day and we needed some water. Mum and Dad had read about a spot by the lake and we spent a couple of hours driving there. We had a really great park right by the lakeside and in amongst the trees. We put out our chairs and sat outside in the wind, swimming and trying to cool off in the humidity. We stopped while driving past the lake and saw a dam squirting out water with such force it went at least 100 metres high. Dad and I stood out in the scorching heat and thought there was something going wrong. We eventually realised nothing was wrong and that they were just dropping the water levels. As we left they stopped the water flowing out. In 300 metres you will arrive at your destination. Hey Matthew, where are you? We're at Torquil de Antiquero in the middle of a heatwave hiking in a big mountain. That's right, high up in the mountains we've got this amazing landscape haven't we of, uh, of uh, limestone, eroded limestone, sort of pancake rock kind of weird stuff. Pretty cool. We set off on a walk through the valley and looked at the amazing scenery. I imagined we were walking through an alien's brain because the vines wrapped around rocks and looked like veins. Once we walked through a very narrow passage and walked in the shade walking along the track having fun climbing over the rocks and jumping over rocks. About 150 million years ago, this area was a seabed and the rocks were pushed up as time went by. Later, all of this was above the sea level and the weaker rocks started eroding in storms and wind, leaving only the strongest boulders and massive piles. We walked on through the heat, looking at the massive heaps of stone, knowing how they got there. What's this called? Crevassing. <laughs> Jesus! After a long day of driving, we hopped out of the motorhome and walked along the beach with our feet in the water picking up shells. We're up in the uh, Sierra Nevada at two and a half thousand meters, uh, just up from Granada. It's the end of the day and there's a heat wave and a great view. As we drove up the mountain, we passed a scenic platform that overlooked the whole mountain pass. We pulled into the car park and walked about 100 meters to the platform. Dad flew the drone around and we talked to an English couple about the highest mountain in the Sierra Nevada. They said the tallest mountain was Mount Musahim. It is 3,479 metres high. 
We tried to drive to the top, but it was blocked off, so we drove back down and stopped at 2,000 metres. This would be our campsite for the night. It's a headless man riding a bike. Let's just learn that a couple of parts. After leaving Sierra Nevada, we drove to a beach just outside Almeria. We played soccer with some local boys and had a refreshing swim in the crystal clear water. It was mum's birthday and after driving away from our beachfront spot, we went up into the town of Almeria to walk to the castle. We got in and walked up and around the different sections of the building to get to the highest part. There was an annoying security guard who was telling me off for leaning on the wall and looking out at the view. There were some interesting signs that we read about the history of the castle. In the 10th and 11th centuries, it formed part of the Caliphate of Cordoba and grew wealthy on trade in the textile industry, especially silk. It suffered many sieges and fell under Christian domination in 1489. In 1522, Almeria was devastated by an earthquake and rebuilding and recovery did not really get underway until the 19th century. During the Spanish Civil War, the city was shelled by the German Navy and fell to Franco rule in 1939. Carmel's birthday champagne. For Mum's birthday, we went to her favourite spot near Las Negras. We walked down to the rocky beach that was below us. Daniel and I found a few pieces of wood, so we joined them together and swam around on it. I hopped on first and it floated, but when Daniel hopped on it sunk. Ashley and I went exploring and collected wood so we could make a raft. And we both Zip. found sticks that looked like swords. We are from Africa. I wonder what this thing does. We ran around Mum and Dad doing silly dances. Nearby there was a town, so we planned to walk there the next day. We went for a swim and got heaps of thin cuts in our feet from the rocks. Then went for a nice walk into town. We walked up to the castle and looked across the big long sunny beach. We went back down to the beach and talked to a German man about good places in Germany. Then we carried on driving towards Las Negras. Just leaving Cabo de Gata now and uh, back out into the uh, fields of poly greenhouses. Apparently uh, this region of Spain supplies 83% of Europe's vegetable needs. How about that? After about 4 hours driving 420 kilometres, we finally found a cool spot on the side of the rocks at Penis Cola. We also managed to find a small rock pool with lots of water gushing in and out to swim in.